All right, and you have a couple different other uh, levels of film too. Correct, and, and XR film where you're going to be uh, an 88 percent heat rejection. Same. 140 degrees. Is what I'm getting from. Hey everyone, welcome back. Here's another video about uh, window tent, ceramic tent. All right, if you haven't watched my previous videos, I've covered window tent, different shades, different interior colors. Uh, made a video about ceramic tent. And this video is gonna be tenting on the new Honda Civic Type R. Now, I actually had a chance to interview the shop owner, but uh, and I'll explain a little bit more detail. And actually he went in more detail as far as different levels of tent. That way you guys didn't just hear it from me, you'll actually get to hear it from uh, someone who's been doing it for over 20 years. So we'll have this thing kind of at an angle right here. Okay. But, yeah. All right. Do you want to tell the viewers how, how long you've been in the business? Sure. I've, I've been tending since uh, 2001. So that makes uh, 20, almost 21 years. Okay. Um, I own Stealth Window Tent. My name is Barry Kimbrell. Uh, we're getting ready to help him get his, his car all sorted out. We're going to get some paint protection on the front end of it. Expel XR Plus going on the windows, X, uh, Expel Ultimate Plus going on the front end. Okay, great. So they're going to take care of the Type R. So uh, we'll see you guys back once uh, they're all completed. Go right ahead. So this is the window tent that I'm getting, it's the you said XR Plus? Yes. And a ceramic film. Correct, 98% infrared radiation heat rejection. Uh, it's lifetime warranty with UVA and UVB rating at 99%. Okay. Um, it's a transferable lifetime warranty. So basically, if you buy the car like you have, and we put it on your car, and you keep our receipt in the car, it goes to the next owner. Okay. As long as he comes in and re-registers it with us. I see. So we can, we can service it when needed. Great. So that's the only thing that, that, that matters with Expel. Expel's a great, great company. I have them at all four of my locations. And that's the reason why, because they're, they're, they're the best. Okay. So, but yeah, definitely, so. All right, and you have a couple different other uh, levels of film too. Correct, and, and XR film, where you're gonna be uh, an 88% heat rejection, same type of quality as that, same transferable warranty, it, uh, same UVA, UVB rating at 99%. But you're, it's, you're just going to have different um, performance I see. out of it. So right. heat rejection is mainly, mainly the same one. And then you got your basic, your everyday, just for looks type film. Okay. Little bit of heat reduction, 99% UVA, uh, I'm sorry, UV, UVA, UVB rays, transferable warranty. But it just doesn't have the performance level that the XR Plus does. I okay. have it on all my cars. I love it. Yeah. Um, both our mock Mustangs have it on the roof and on the wind on, on the windshield. Okay. Everything. Um, my wife and I, we absolutely love it. The customers, okay. we put it on their cars, they love it. When it's 108 degrees outside, they're not complaining. Okay. <laughs> and now there is one thing about about the, the window film that everybody should know out there too. Okay. Window film does not stop the heat if your car is sitting in a parking lot. It does help. Okay. But it will not stop it because the, the heat radiates from the ground up underneath the car and comes into the metal, makes the metal hot, makes the inside of the car hot. Sure. Now, if you do have leather seats and stuff like that, when you, you do have a performance film like this, mm -hmm. it will make a huge difference for the you getting in the car and, and not burning yourself, basically. Right. So the heat reduction does help a whole lot. Okay. It just doesn't stop it when it's sitting. Now, when you're driving down the road and you know the wind's kind of cooling the car down and everything's kind of getting cooled down, mm -hmm. um, that sun that's glaring in at you all the time, like when every time I right. come to work in the mornings, you know the sun's coming right at me, the windshield film helps a lot. I see. So even in, in, in any, any, any of the XR Plus or or XR is gonna be your best bet. Okay. So for people out there looking for just basic film, then you're gonna go with like a CS film, okay. which is our, it's called color stable. Color stable, yep. okay. 
That's similar to that, that 3M color stable too. Right? Correct. It's, yes. it's sort of the same concept. It's just made in a different, different factory. Thing. Correct. Okay. And it's non-transferable lifetime warranty. I see. This one is, but the 3M one isn't. I, I, yeah. I don't believe so. It's not transferable. I had 3M before yeah. and they didn't transfer yeah. it over. Expel does that because they know their film's going to last between 10 to 20 years, depending on the climate. I see. You know, at least. I've, I've seen, yeah. actually seen some film go, and it's the same type of film as Expel. And I'm not naming no names out there, but right. it's the same type of film that I, we used to sell when I first started, and I've seen it go 15 to 20 years easy. Okay. So, so one thing I noticed with ceramics, I for a while I always went with the CS, mm -hmm. and I thought, well, I just want the looks, maybe a little bit more protection. Mm -hmm. And to my first time with ceramic, mm -hmm. I was unbelievable how fast, even when it's 100 degrees outside, air conditioning's on, the glass felt cool to the touch. And I say like not cold, but just it just feel, a lot cooler. Yeah, yes. yeah, a lot cooler than. It would when you're feeling the heat always come into the glass. It helped the air conditioning not run as hard. The Correct. fan ran lower. Yep, and that that all helps, especially those out there with, uh, I mean, not not only you know with with engine you know gasoline engine cars, but with electric cars, it helps with battery. Right. And so that's a that, big that's, yeah, huge the range, huge yeah, thing. Yeah, for sure. Yes. Yeah. So. And you tent Tesla three. Do you tent Tesla threes? We do te tent Tesla Model threes, full okay. back windows. Yeah. But you know we, we've we've kind of started out doing. When I first started tinting them, I did half and two piece mm -hmm. and full, and we've kind of gone away from the half and two piece because normally when you get a Tesla Model 3 customer in and they do half, about 2% of the people are like, okay, yeah, that's fine. That looks good. Yeah. And then you, cause you can't see it from the outside cause the back window is tinted so far down. Right. And we tint right above it. Mm -hmm. So you can't tell. But when you get in the car, you see the line in the back of the window. Right. And the line just, it just doesn't look good. So we didn't want to portray that image. Okay. You know, and so we just we just went away with all the other the tents, and we went to a full full back glass. So, okay. but and and that's kind of where the where the company stands. We want our company to look good. You know, we don't sure. want our film to look bad. Right. You know? Things happen. We get you know we we've had things happen in the film. You know, and and we've always taken care of our customer one hundred percent. You know, they come in. We if there's something wrong, we pull it off. We redo it, and that's why I'm in business for as long you know as I have been. So. All right. Well, great. Thank you very much. Yeah, no uh, problem, man. Yeah. And this is, uh, what is this little box you can fill it So heat. this is a heat protection box here. So this is kind of when you come in, we can we can show you what you have here. I'll go ahead and put your hand on that little guy right there. That's where you're at now. Yeah, I can feel the heat. This is one. the XR Plus, which you can't feel hardly anything. Yeah. And then you got the, the XR Black, which is the mid-grade, which yeah. is still ceramic. Yeah, I can feel it. And the... then you have your CS. Oh, wow, that's a big difference huge. between when you, that first one you showed me. Correct. Yeah. Huge, huge difference. Now, now, I can still feel reduction with the CS, but not as much as it did with ceramic no, or the all. black. Yeah. The black was almost, or this plus yeah. was the, probably the best. Oh, yeah. It's so. it's by far the best film I've ever worked with I, in 20 years. I think for California, I think this is, I mean, our high temperature is probably the one to get. Yeah. No, definitely. I mean, we, you know, like I said, I own four, four locations and I drive to Redding and in Redding, it's 114 in our hottest days here, Ooh, so, so. They, those guys up there are cooking, you know, mm. and they they need the they need it just as bad as the rest of us, you know, at 100 degrees, because we're we're sweating at 100 degrees. Right. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> All right. Well, um, I guess these are the shades here. I can. Yep. Okay. Um, so we have a five, 15, 30, and 50. We yeah. also have a 70 percent that I don't have up here, and I'm actually, it's not in stock right now because I'm. It's back ordered. Okay. So if I had it here, I would I would I would have it here. I just don't have it oh, yet. Okay. So seventy percent is like every glass that's made on a car is is seventy percent basically as as it stands because okay. the laws in the state of California have to be seventy percent or above on the two front windows and the windshield. So most people get seventy percent on the two front windows and the windshield if they're looking to stay within the, the legal limits. And even then, there's kind of a gray area to where it's not exactly legal it's, because there's something on the windows. I see. So, because um, also there you got the factory UV that could be there. Correct. And then you add on top of that, which then could it drops it down below that seventy percent percent threshold. I see. I see. Even though you can't see it, it's literally impossible, almost Correct. impossible to see. Right. And, and and for me, like I do fifty on my cars, and and my my cars are you know they're not real dark, you know they're 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 real light in the windshields. I'll do fifteen percent on my car all the way around, you know, because it was tinted on the back already. Yeah. Yours isn't so. You would probably do like a five on the back and maybe a fifteen or a thirty on the front. I see. But it's really up to you what you what you want. Okay. Like I said, it is illegal to tint the front two windows and the windshield. So you want to make sure you know because this this vehicle was 
towed in here and it's a track use only car to us mm -hmm. you know what i mean that's how we we're able to tent your vehicle like that okay all right that makes sense all right this um so the, the five percent is the amount of light that passes through correct that's so, what the number represents yes. okay all right and this is sort of like limo tent which you find on limos correct. where limo it's tent. opaque you really can't see anything at all correct you're going to get... You can, it just depends on the car. Like if you have a real light interior car, uh -huh. like the Teslas with the white interior, if you put limo tint on them, mm -hmm. it's pretty dark. But in the other hand, you can still see real bright inside through the windshield because it's reflecting it, light it, off of everything. everything. I see. Yes. So your car is the darker interior, it's gonna appear a little bit darker, yes. Okay. And your color is popping outside. So you're gonna you're gonna yeah. get that like drastic like look. It's gonna look a little darker than it normally does. All right. All right, everyone, I'm going to pick my film choice, and I'll let you guys know in the video. One last thing, what makes you guys different from other tent shops? And so, you know, having, having four locations gives us the ability to, of course, do more work and, and, and get ourselves out there to the public a lot faster. I've trained my guys to be real quick, real, real, real precise. Um, like I said before, if it's something that, is, that does go wrong, we take care of it right away, we jump on it, we make customer happy. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, what makes us a way unique compared to a lot of other shops is probably our best feature and a lot of people out there are going to love this is we're first come first serve now paint protection we actually have to schedule you in because sometimes it takes a little longer with paint okay. protection and we have to kind of go around the customer's um, schedule but with window tent you can bring the car in anytime tuesday through saturday from eight to five and drop it off with us and we'll have it done by the end of the day no matter what so you can bring it in any day we can do anywhere from uh, I would say some of my shops are anywhere from 15 to 26 cars a day. So it just, like I said, it, we're not a, we schedule four, four or five, six jobs. Okay. And we, we, we move, we move to the next day and we schedule people three, four weeks down the road. Not saying that's bad because some right. people, it's a, it's a lifestyle move, you know, they want to be solid in their lifestyle and that's sure. okay. You yeah. know, but, but I've kind of trained my guys like that. Good. Okay. So. I think cool thing with Windows 10 is that sometimes when you get in your car, you really want to just go somewhere and you have to wait two three weeks or Correct. trying to find a it could be fia yeah. and even in the hottest parts of the summer where you know where we have you might have 10 cars sitting here but we can still get you in i'll take the car if it takes you know we're here till six seven o'clock at night and we still get the car back to you same day if not the next morning okay so that is one of our unique features all right all right well i'll put the uh address and link in the description so if you definitely you know, reach out get a quote and you know does it bury here at the stealth tent appreciate it guys thank you all right, guys, back at, before we leave here at Stealth Tent, I wanted to show, I got my infrared thermometer, and I'm gonna show you guys just real time what that tent does and the temperature that it can reduce. Now, this is a heat lamp. I'm gonna turn this on. This is clear film. I'm gonna show you what the temperature is on the film. 140 degrees is what I'm getting from this. Now I'm gonna switch over to just a regular dyed film, which is the Expel Prime CS. Okay, and we're gonna see what temperature we get. Okay, so we got 130 on that film. Now we're gonna go to our Prime CR. It's gonna be a ceramic film, which is their uh, Mid-grade blocks out 88% uh, heat. And it looks like 90 degrees, 97 degrees is the highest I got from that. Okay, now we're going to switch over to their XR Plus. Eighty-four degrees, so it's a big difference when looking at one hundred forty degree temperature, and it goes down to eighty-four degrees. It's gonna be fifteen percent. Let's see, Expel um, XR Plus on here is full to the think our highest film they offer, and I did the seventy percent on the windshield and in paint protection film. You can't even tell it's there. And I did the partial, so it stops here, but you can't see the line unless you get really close. But other than that. I think we're all done so we appreciate it appreciate it guys of course. thank you yep. all right now i decided to do the partial 
and you can't tell where it stops. Uh, but it does stop halfway up the hood. Some people don't like partial because of that line. Now, if you don't want the line, they offer a full, which then continues all the way the entire the hood. And if I get closer, you may be able to see it, the transition. But that's that. That's all you're gonna notice, if you do notice it at all. So I went with the Expel XR um, Plus, which is their highest uh, grade of ceramic that they do. It blocks out 98% of the uh, infrared of uh, things like red that come through the interior. Now I had the 3M ceramic on the X5. I covered it in a previous video. And I can still feel heat coming through, but it wasn't as much compared to the carbon, the 3M color CS, uh, carbon, whatever it was, 3M CS. Now this is the best of the best. And I immediately, when I pulled this car out of the garage, now it's pretty much 90 degrees right now. And even then there isn't any heat coming in. It's amazing how little heat there is coming inside of the front windshield. I had the windshield tinted as well. The windshield is 70% and then the sides are 15%. All right, the front seats are red and the back is black. So, and plus we also have the back hatch. So everything is going to appear um, darker in the rear, regardless, because even though the windshield's tinted, it doesn't match up to the rear hatch as far as being a 15%. If I did the 15% on the front, you guys would see it. So let's walk around the car. I'll give you guys a little bit more uh, detail. You see how it looks. And this is when the sun is actually coming through the windshield. And you have to remember there is factory UV, there's factory tint on there. So it may appear a little bit darker, but overall I still feel it is a good fit. Let's come to the back here. And then looking through, a little glare from the sun. And the windshield. All right. Turn the car around I and mean, we guys see a different angle to see, you know, like we always do in my videos of different angles in the sun. Here it is from the inside. I can't roll the window down because it is still fresh tent. It's good to keep the windows up. Never wait, you know, give what the shop tells you, depending on the weather outside. For summertime, probably three days. Wintertime, probably a week. Just because you want that glue to get time to adhere. If you don't, and you roll the windows down before, you end up peeling the tent from the rollers that actually push the window up and down. So you can see the difference what it looks like outside even looking through the windshield. All right. Now a common conception, people say they see tent shops doing tent and they say, does the tent go on the inside of the window or outside the window? Because some people will say like, well, I heard I can't wash my car until the tent is done. No, you can wash your cars fine. What you can't do is wash the inside the windows for at least a few days. Um, you just don't want to do anything that could cause that tent to slide because it is, like I said, it is a curing by a small adhesive. You could get a little bit of uh, glue that takes place over time, but pushing, uh, like I said, if you're taking the cloth and you're washing it, could add more of that. Um, but you'll see a tent shop, they'll lay their tent across the tent on the outside. They'll clean the windows really well. They'll make sure it is cut to fit. They'll shrink it to the size of the glass. And then they'll go inside, peel off the um, adhesive, apply it to the inside of the glass. And once it's applied to the inside, 
they squeeze you out of the water, root, make sure it needs no bubbles, any, and then they'll, that's how it is applied. So it's never on the outside of the car, it's always on the inside. Um, if you use anything to clean it, always use something like invisible glass. I like that, I'll link it in the description. Uh, it's, it's window tent safe. You don't wanna use anything for ammonia, um, you know, such as Windex, anything like that, that contains ammonia. You don't wanna use that in window tent. And like I said in the video before, if we didn't cover it, the percentage is the amount of light that passes through the glass. So if you are talking, you know, 30% or 50%, that is how much visible light to, that can pass through. So 15% means 15% of light can pass through. All right, now the windshield, this is 70%. So it was a very light film, 70% is um, I think the legal limit here in California. And um, what 70% means is 70% of the light. If you go to 80, 90% for a windshield tent, then that is pretty much uh, transparent. The last Civic I had, which I'll show you guys here in a second. And this Civic here actually um, is 35%. That was also a ceramic, uh, it was a uh, LMR Formula One. Actually, that car was the one that actually put me on to ceramic tent because I didn't think it was worth it. But being in that car compared to, for example, my M3, which is back there, I have the just regular color stable. Now, the color stable isn't a bad film. However, compared it to the ceramic, I can notice a there's a noticeable difference in heat. Um, or the, the, the amount of heat that comes through the cabin. All right, now I did to go to the ceramic IR series with the X5. Um, I did the 15%, this is 3M. Um, and I'll show you a different video, a different clip of that because I did cover it, but for those who are new or just watching this video, you probably are curious about it. This is 3M and this is a different brand. This is, I'm not sure the name of this brand, but this is also 70% in the windshield. And then I did 70% in the windshield on M3 as well. Now, with the SUV, rear glass is automatically tinted from the rear. I believe it's 20% from the rear. So me adding 15% on top of that, it really made the glass pretty dark. So I did, I did 15% on all windows, but you'll see there's a difference. When looking through this glass. See how clear, clear it is? Okay. So this is closer to probably, like I said, I don't know the exact measurement, but I would say I'm probably closer to probably 10 or, you know, 5%. I'm not sure if it's completely limo black, but it is pretty black. When you're inside the car, I can literally give someone a finger sitting in back here and they will not know it. Uh, most police officers aren't going to bother you with well, I think unless you do like 5%, I think that point you're kind of asking for it, a ticket. Um, but like I said, the best thing to do is when you get pulled over is to eliminate your interior, make it lighter, put your windows down so they can see you. Because the last thing you want to do if the officer can't see, it's just going to make him more uncomfortable and your chances of getting a ticket is very high. If you can make him comfortable, if you can just you know lower his guard a little bit down, that way he can see you he can see the occupants in the vehicle, make sure that nobody, everybody is, you know, he's safe coming up to your car. Like I said, he comes up to the car, he doesn't know what's going on in here. Someone could have something, a weapon or anything pointed at him and he will not notice it. So he's gonna be sort of on edge unless you put those windows down. All right, so let's say if it's nighttime, he's walking up to your vehicle. He can't see anything, can't see the driver, doesn't know anything. I know this is sort of an inaccurate representation, but look at this. All right, so I'm rolling the windows down. And then now when he comes up to the car, he can see the occupants, he can see the driver. You know, you say if you as a driver, your hand should be right there, not fumbling around the glove box, not digging around the site, looking for rice registration. He's gonna, he knows that's, you know, you know that's coming, but it doesn't gonna do anything by trying to save time by having it ready to go. Just wait till he gets there that way he can watch what you're doing, okay? Um, don't, don't try to rush it, just, just let it, let it be. Uh, I just wait till they ask me, I keep my hands right there. And that way 
when they come up, your windows may be dark, but that right now at this point, the traffic stop isn't relevant right now because he's already can see you identify you, make sure things go okay, okay, blah blah blah, pull you up for speeding, okay, I'll be right back. But now, let's say if the windows are dark and I roll them up, don't know what's going on. If I was if I was a police, I'm gonna be kind of ready to go. I'm gonna be like, well, I don't I don't know what's going on in here, especially when people crack it just a little bit. I mean, what are you hiding? And I'm not saying you don't hide anything, but it just makes it worse. So that just is a helpful hint. That's the way you minimize yourself of getting a window tent ticket.